Hi guys, welcome to the video. This is my solo run of this week's Nightfall Ordeal. It's on Legend difficulty, which is 950, and it's on the Scarlet Keep, which one of the new strikes that has come out with Forsaken. Uh, Forsaken? It's not come out with Forsaken, it's definitely come out with Shadow Keep. So as you can see on the screen, I'm showing my weapons and my loadout. I am using the mountaintop, keep salt to a minimum. I don't use it in Crucible. I'm using it because I don't have an unstoppable weapon, or I haven't equipped an unstoppable weapon. And that's what I'll be using to take out the unstoppable enemies. Uh, I'm using auto rifle with anti-barrier rounds. Obviously it's arc and solar, so we are covering both of those. And I've got a couple of mods from the Artifact Tom. Just to help me with, obviously, me some void grenades. I've also on my bond, I've got hive repurposing. So when I do take one of the shields down, including the, the anti-barrier shields, I'll get my grenade back. So we're just going to skip past the first section. And I'm going to, we're going to take out this first champion. I'm going to show exactly how I'm going to be taking the champions out. The way I do it for the first champion, the barrier champion, will be the way I do it for them all. Now... This is my first real run through that I did beat it yesterday. This is this is my first like I think, I think I've tried it three or four times. Uh, I've beat it twice. These are the way I like to do things that are repeatable. I like I like the strategies that I come up with in the videos. I feel like anybody can do them. So they're not the fastest, but they definitely are repeatable. So. This is what this is the first barrier champion. So I, I charged a grenade, which is damaging him because of the mods I've got. It's weakening him. As soon as he puts his barrier up, I hit him with my auto rifle, which takes his barrier down and gives me my grenade back. I put another grenade on him and just melt him with the heavy. And that's what we'll do for them all. So charge a grenade and hit him. That will weaken him because I've got three grenade mods on. I've got disruption. A few ones from the artifact. You can see if you look back on the video, you'll see exactly what I've got on on the armor. Wait until that does enough damage for me that he put his barrier back up. I'll take his barrier down with my auto rifle, and then I'll get a grenade back and I'll put a grenade back on him and finish him off. So I'm using the mountain top because, as I said, I'm not using an unstoppable weapon. So the mountain top is going to take out the unstoppable. Uh, enemies for me. If you don't have the mountain top, what are you doing with yourself? No, I'm, I'm only kidding. I know, I know. There's quite a few people that don't have it, but if you don't have it, it's probably the easiest time to get it. Is now. I'm not saying you've got to run about in crucible with that and the recluse like I hear a lot of people are doing, but it's good for this Pv PVE stuff. But if you don't have it and you want to give this a go and you want to use this kind of setup, I know it's been done faster and. I just actually noticed a friend of mine has done it, the high score, which I'll maybe give a little look at. I wasn't going to bother with that this week. But if you want to use this strategy, you could switch up the damage type. So you could you could go an, uh, an arc heavy, uh, arc machine gun. You could go a primary rock, uh, auto rifle, and you could use the Jotun, which will take the place of the mountaintop. But that's up to you guys. Uh, I, 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 would, I would suggest this loadout as... For getting through it, for people that want to give a solo a go and, and, and you're looking for a, a, a decent strategy for actually completing it, this this is that strategy. And I, I would I would firmly suggest that people that are, that are doing this for the first time or just want to give it a go, then you should use this. This, this is the way to do it. So when you first come into this area, as you've seen, you're going to have two waves of ad spawn, one right, one left. You're going to have four acolytes on both sides and an arc shielded knight on both sides. So what I do is I attack one side and I stick a grenade right on the spawn. Try and take out the adds safely as quickly as possible. Now as you'll have seen on the other side, I, I got the second wave of adds on the other side. We're going to get them in a minute here. Which is you once you go a little bit up, up this channel, you'll get these four uh, thrall. And then on this side, you'll have another arc shielded knight waiting for you. And on the other side, you'll have two sniper acolytes. Take them out at your leisure. You can do the same thing with the grenades. You can charge a grenade. I'm not going to bother because I broke his shield. 
So now I'm going to use my Jean-Claude Van Damme kick. I really love that. Then you make it up into this kind of this kind of turret area. And in this turret area on both sides, you will have four acolytes and a wizard. So we're just going to charge the grenade. Now because I've got hive repurposing, which may add, it's, it's, it's not something, it's not really difficult to get. If you do the menagerie, you will get a year three version more than likely pretty quickly. I got a year three version on my second completion. And I've since had two of them. They're one of them, one of the, the ones you get more often. And it's just that if you break a shield, any shield, with with a weapon, super, with anything, you will get your grenade straight back. So once you do that, and you've, you, you've, you've killed the wizard, you've killed them all, you've picked up the orb, when you come back down into the first area, you're going to have four more acolytes waiting for you, and a champion. That's going to be the same on both sides. Now... When you do it the first time, all you're going to have is those acolytes and champion. When you do it on the, the last side, or the second side, you're also going to have exploders. But we're going to keep a super for that. So we'll take out this this wizard, this uh, acolyte, sorry. We'll take what orb over. I keep picking up the orbs because if you don't, it goes away quite quickly and you'll have to run back and get it. So charge the grenade. Let it take him down to just about half. And then take his barrier down. He's still weakened from the void grenade. I'll pick up the orb just to make sure it doesn't go. And there you go. And we'll get we'll slam the orb and then we'll head over to the next side and we'll do the next side. Really easy. So there's your two sniper sh sniper sniper guys. And when you head back down into here, you're gonna have a whole the same thing again, you're going to have four acolytes and a wizard. There's the wizard. So, I'm really loving Shadowkeep. I think it's very good. I I have some reservations about the artifact. More importantly, not so much the artifact, but the weapons that they are allowing us to do damage to the champions with. I think it's quite restrictive. But apart from that, because let me explain. So the only thing you can take an unstoppable or stop an unstoppable champion with is a hand cannon. Overload, you can do bow. I think you can do SMG as well. And barrier champions is auto rifle and SMG. Yeah, that it doesn't really fit into the build a better monster hunter and play the game your way it doesn't fit into them but i'm i'm no you're not gonna get any any salt from me right so charge the grenade throw the grenade throw the super you've killed the champion and you kill a heap of the cursed throw a couple more of the cursed throw you've got to be what you've got to watch out because uh exploder units do more damage now that there i'm gonna have to be mindful of doing that in the future I keep switching from my heavy straight back, thinking my auto rifle's my primary. But it's obviously not. So once you've once you've cleared this whole area and you've slammed the two orbs, now you're gonna bridge is gonna drop. You're gonna make your way up to the next kind of. This is like a. I don't know what the best way to describe this. Like a like a flash mob of ads. There's nothing major here, but you do have a champion. We've got a champion coming up in a bit. So yeah. You just have to clear these any way you want. As you can see, I'm doing it with grenades and, and the mountain top and a mixture of things. And now he's going to get finished with the Jean Claude. And then you'll get your second champion, your first unstoppable. And this is where the mountain top really comes in because I say I don't have an unstoppable. Go past here to where I have and then go back straight away. Don't wait for any prompt, just go straight back. I'm going to charge a grenade and throw up. You'll see that ogre. Charge a grenade. Try and hit the ogre and some ads. And just... That weakens the... the the That weakens the ogre. It basically makes everything on the ogre take tons of damage. But it, it makes the whole ogre's body a crit spot. And we're just going to mount and top from range. Because these unstoppables... This is exactly... They are unstoppable. Once they start charging at you, they'll fire constantly. And they'll just... It's almost... It's as close as you can get, really, to an insta-wipe. Now, we've got three of these to contend with. 
And the way I'm going to show you, uh, it's, it's pretty easy. They're, they're pretty straightforward to deal with. Easy is probably too much of a too much of a claim, but pretty straightforward. So as you can see, I'm moving away. I don't want to get into his eye line. I knew I had special, but I don't I don't really want to get into his eye line. And the further away you go, if he can't charge you, he'll he'll go away. If he, if you're not a threat, he'll go away. Walk away. And he kind of hides off to the right and he kind of switches from right to left. So what I'm going to do is just long range one of these, take out a sniper. I've put damage on a couple of other ones. I'm not really going to stand at the back and spam mountaintop. <laughs> what do I think it is? Clash? Bit of a joke there between me and some clan mates about how sweaty Clash is for, for a quick play game mode. But uh, yeah, he'll just, he'll just move from right to left. It doesn't really help him because you can stand back here and, and just deal with him from here. Now, anybody that's clicked on this video, the, any of you guys that are watching this, I just want to make this very plain right now. This, this, this is a repeatable way to do this. There are faster ways, but f with 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 the faster ways comes the element of failure, because faster ways rely on you doing things twice as quick as you normally would and and we're not talking about pc because this quite plainly quite plainly is stated in the thumbnail it's a console room so if you play on console this is a way to do it if you play on pc probably this is still a way to do it because the pc runs from the guys that i know that have done them they're not you can't replicate it on on console because uh, because you know why. Everybody knows why you can't replicate uh, PC runs on console. No assault again from me. It's just facts. And I always love seeing someone that I regard as someone I've spoke with. He's a good guy. Uh, I've always regard him as uh, just a nice guy. You know? Uh, I'm not gonna, I'm not going to mention his name in the video, but he's done a really fast run. And he's always been nice to me. So, yeah, I'm, I'm not being salty about the PC console thing. I'm just saying, this is not supposed to be the finished product run. This is just a repeatable way for you to beat it. And you guys that have followed the channel for long enough, you know that's all I ever offer. This way will work 99% of the time. And I know it because I beat this and forgot to record it. That's not true. Because I'm because I'm recording on console, I, I've got an external hard drive connected, and I'm, you know, when you connect an external hard drive that's big enough to to the Xbox, you can now record for an hour. Whereas if you don't have one, you can record for up to ten minutes. I I died. And I went back in, and I come to the end of my hour kind of gameplay and forgot to record again when I got to the boss. So. I know this way works, but I'll explain later on why that has affected this video as well. So, when you get to this part, so you've worked your way up the bridge, you get to this part. I'm using that center bit as my cover from the barrier. So, you can, if he goes left, I go right. Just keep him between yourself. Don't go right up close against it either until he goes away. Because the splash damage will still hit you. So once you get to the bottom of the stairs, you can take out the Shrieker. The barrier guy has now, the barrier champion has now went up to the back of the stairs. Now, word to the wise, I didn't do it here, not to start with anyway. If there are acolytes, don't push the barrier guy. I was hoping that they would all back away into that grenade, but they didn't. Don't push him if there's acolytes because they will then mess you up like this. So it's all good. I've still got a grenade. But make sure you take the acolytes out first. And the kind of crux of this is. So there's your barrier guy. We'll put a grenade there. Now. He's went into the eye line of the snipers. You see the snipers at the top of the stairs. It's the first time I've had to fight the barrier. The barrier guy down, down here. So I'm having to jockey. The grenade would have finished him. I don't know, I'm always, I always expect something to happen. So now that you've killed him, 
make your way up to the top of the stairs, kill these two snipers. Be mindful because there's a, there's a wizard behind them. And then heavy on the wizard. And then use the, the, the pillars on the left hand side as cover to help you progress. So once, she, once, once she's down, use these as cover from the snipers. And then take them out and make your way to the next part of the strike. Very simple. So for anybody that's been wondering where I've been, I just kind of lost the content, the, the, the activities. Although I never stopped playing Destiny, they, they, were, they were starting to bore me because I'd done them so much. So I've actually got videos that I've made that never seen the light of day because I just got... Um, I just didn't think they were worthwhile putting out. So, but now that Shadow Keeps come out and I'm loving the new content, there just seems to be so much to learn and to master. Going to be a lot more content coming, boys. I hope that's a good thing for you guys. And anybody that's stuck with the channel, thank you very much. I appreciate you guys. But I think I say it enough that you guys are going to, you know, you guys know that already. So, this is probably the most mechanic-heavy part of the strike. Is these this area with the three plates. Now what we're going to do. There was ads. We, we tried to thin them out. We've got a barrier champion. So I've, I've jumped down here. Still using the cover. He's going to run away when I jump up here. But then I cancel the charge. Because I realised there's still a heap of acolytes up. To cancel the charge. All you do is change weapon. And there we go. We just leave the barrier guy. So same thing again. Charge grenade on top of him, switch to your roll. Well, put a mountain top on him first. And then because he's still dealing from the effects of the grenade, the shield goes down really quick. Works every time. That's exactly how I take all the, the champions out. Now we come to this part. Now this part is it's pretty simple. There's there's three plates. You activate you start the whole area. By standing on this first plate. But what you want to do. You don't want to charge this first plate. By staying on it. Because. Basically. Right so. Depending on what plates you do. Depends on what, what ads you get. Right. So if you were to do that first plate. You would get a barrier champion. And a whole host of other accolades. So the best way to do this area. Is to stand on the first plate. To activate. The whole area type of thing. And then clear up all the ads. The ads that came out, the, the, there'll be a couple of sets of accolades. I think it's six accolades. Six or eight accolades. Clear out all the accolades in the area. And then go and do one of the plates at the side. So I'm going to do this other plate, the other plate, so the left hand side plate, because the wizard has already been activated. Now it's the same thing with every shielded enemy. You, you're going to use your grenade to make it easy to take them down. As you can see, I'm using my heavy. I'm just uh, tapping the trigger, just using it like a scout rifle. Take out those ads. So basically, we'll put a charged grenade on top of her. Break the shield so we get our grenade back. But she can be melted now pretty easily. Now we go over, finish all the, the acolytes on that side. So there'll be another two. And now we can do this plate. But... Before you can actually do the plate properly, before you can activate the plate, the, the charge the plate. So you get onto the plate, you're going to get another wave of ads. But we can preempt these. So as soon as I get on the plate, I'm going to charge a grenade, go up and throw a grenade at this doorway. You'll get this arc shielded knight. Now, this happened. I was waiting for that to come up. I got one contact in Destiny Services intermittently been happening since since the other day every now and again i get one and it's i wouldn't say the game goes weird it's just stuff happens like you you, you kill an enemy and he dies and then about a second later he dies again but it goes really quickly i don't i don't know what it is it what it, it normally doesn't do that but anyway we took out that night so you got f a couple of more acolytes once you take them out, go and, go and charge the plate and then come back up top and take these two sniper acolytes out. Take them out and you can progress to the other plate, no problem. Don't do the centre plate, 
go over to the other plate. But now the, the 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 wizard won't be out, so you can attack the wizard straight away. So put a charge grenade right in the center. It should take the acolytes out, and then you can just melt the wizard. Very simple. Make sure you take out the other two acolytes, and the same thing is going to happen. You're going to get onto the plate. You're going to charge. Start to charge the plate. And then you're going to get this Arc Knight. Now, this, this, it did get a little bit weird with this Arc Knight because he actually slid out of the grenade. But it's it's no problem because, as you can see, just drop a grenade on him, he walks right out into it, and then he, he just slid away. And he done it a few... See what I'm saying? It doesn't happen very often, but it's annoying when it does happen. So, if you do experience anything like that, you're just going to reset. You're just going to kill the Acolytes, and then you're going to go after the, the Knight with the grenade again. So, charge my grenade, throw it out on, onto this little walkway, and this time he responds exactly the way he should, stays in it until he's dead, and we're good to go. Take out the last two acolytes. Now, you won't get the sniper acolytes when you, when you do this. This is the last edge you've got to face in this area. So, when you charge this plate, you're going to go to the centre, Charge the center plate, which is going to bring out the champion with the acolytes, and we're just going to run past them. We're not going to bother with them. It's why I never got a platinum medal at the end, because you get a platinum if you kill all the all the champions in a strike. I I, I missed him. There was no point in me doing it. No point in me killing him as well. So we're just going to run straight ahead to the next area. Now while I'm while I'm going to this next area, I'm going to explain what happens at the end. Just before we get to there. So this isn't a flawless run. Or else I would have put it on the thumbnail that it's flawless. Because I don't believe in clickbait. And I believe in transparency. I died. When you're on the left you go up. And I died in the first level. Simply because I failed to manage my area. That's that's exactly what happened. So you're going to see a cut on, on, the, on the left. So it's going to be. The timer's going to jump forward four minutes. That's why. Because when you die there, you spawn back at the bottom of the stairs. And you've got to fight the barrier champion again and the ads. And I just felt that would be too boring for you guys to have to sit and watch. So it's four minutes. If you watch the timer from the time I get onto the lift, you'll see four minutes is about right. That's that's exactly what, you know, no reason for me to lie, guys. I'm not, not that type of YouTuber. So... And the other thing, and, and I kind of touched upon this beforehand, is you'll see a slight cut at the boss. Nothing will change. The timer won't change. The the score won't change. Nothing's going to change. When I done it the last time, I was t as I said during this video, we're just sorry guys, we're just going to put that on on him and just kill, you know make sure whenever you're fighting a, a shielded guy, take usage of of your grenade, but still try and take the shield down to get your grenade back. So, as I already said in the video that I'm recording on Xbox One, and that I didn't get the last boss fight because I forgot to record the actual boss because I ran out of my hour. When I got to the boss this time, I stopped in the center, stopped my recording, and then started a fresh one. So, it's the same run. It was just two separate recordings where I ended this run that I'm on, this, this recording that I'm doing now, and started a fresh one at the boss. So... It's, it's it's not a different run, so don't think that I'm I'm lying. This can't be done, a hundred percent. I I would never do that to you guys. I I'd never compromise the validity of my my runs. It's just not who I'm. So that that's why I didn't actually think it. I thought it would be pretty seamless because I didn't move, but obviously I did move. So that that's why it is. Hopefully when I get my gaming set up back, because I can't. Anybody that follows the channel might know I've got a gaming room. I actually have a room dedicated, or I did have a room up until a couple of months ago, dedicated to just gaming and recording. I've lost that now because somebody's moved into it. <laughs> so I'm having to record on console instead of using my normal video setup, which has kind of impacted the videos as well. You know, it's, it's, it has been a bit of, you know, getting bored with doing the same nightfalls, but also losing losing the ability to sit there and have peace and quiet and have my mic and my you know my gaming card my video card so i'm not going to bore you with that just 
explaining why that's happening. I haven't cut multiple runs and put them into one. I did get, I got accused of doing that once. I would never do that. What would be the point in that? Anyway. So, <laughs> now that I've got that out, this, when I was learning this, this was the trickiest part. Because they're on higher ground and you're on lower ground. So as you can see already from the from, from what I've done to get to the point where I am now, I'm just kind of doing it from range and, you know, we take the, we, we, we do enough damage to that first knight that, he, dis, that he, he goes away and makes it easy for us to kill him. At this point here, that's where you activate the, the Shrieker. So you just, as you've seen, I just put a mountain top on him and then moved out the way slightly out so that I wasn't still in his firing range and then put put another mountain top on him. Don't don't push too much, you see there? Now, because I'm familiar with what I'm going to face next and where my cover is, I, 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 I never feel too overawed. But the biggest problem with the weapon setup I've went with, if there is a problem with it, is the range. Now I've got heavy, I'll just take these guys out here. Now I've got heavy, I can I can I can attack a bit more. So you seen there uh pursue hashladun a hashladun when you see that you're gonna get a barrier knight a barrier uh, champion so I'm just gonna load up my heavy and I'm gonna now you'll see me do this this is a really good way to attack enemies that are that, that have got like a heavy hitting ad or a heavy hitting boss around them find a bit of cover and use that to juke that heavy enemy so that you can attack the other ones whenever he goes one way I'll go the other you know and if he doesn't go left if he stays central then you just back away from the cover just slightly so that the splash damage doesn't affect you as soon as you feel like you've took out enough enemies push up one side like i done there and same old same old put the grenade on them put another one and then just melt them and that's that as you know at the boss so if you'd have died here you would have just been able to respawn this is a respawn area if you die going up on the left you'll respawn at the bottom of the stairs and have to fight your way back up here which is exactly what I died in the first level. So you'll see the cut just about happening here. You'll see the time. Score hasn't really changed that much. The time, another, what, three and a half minutes, four minutes. I died on this first level, and I'll, I'll show you exactly where I died and why I died. But what I'm doing now, the reason why I'm spinning around and looking around is to make sure I'm in the right place. So that's what I'm looking for, those kind of black kind of alcoves. If you look up, when you get into cover, if you look up, if you see those black alcoves, it means you're going to get ads in those alcoves. So you can then you can then uh, work out where you need to be. This is not how you use the mountaintop, by the way. Normally, I clear all four of them with that. But how I died, you'll see here, I'm going to get hit, proper hit. This is how I died. You have to manage the ads. If I'd have hit those ads with that mountaintop, I would have been out and I'd have been working on these ads. This is where I died exactly, exactly here, right at about this time, actually. So, again, melt the bot, melt the, the the knight. Those armor piercing rounds, they not only go through the barrier championship. You guys probably know this, but I'm I'm trying not to be condescending. But I am trying to take into consideration that there might be people who are watching this video, never seen any of my videos, have never played Destiny before because of New Light. So if you think I'm being condescending, honestly guys, I wouldn't do that. I've got a lot of respect for people that you know follow the channel and watch my, my content. So you've got to be careful here because we know we've got another knight. So all I'd done there was take down the wizard shield. I was never really going to fully attack. I just done it for, for the grenade purposes. Came back to the center because you can look through the center so I could see if there were any acolytes encroaching or, you know, what was what. And we'll put a couple of mountain tops. If you've not got the mountain top, A, I would suggest you go doing it because it's like 
it's, it's really easy to do now. Uh, but again, as I've already said, you could use the Yolton. It will have the same similar DPS. Maybe not as much, but I think I think you can carry more. And with the the enhanced fusion rifle loader, uh, yeah, you should be able to put fair bit bit of DPS because DPS isn't just how much damage it hits. Obviously, it's about how fast you can fire it, where it can be, and, and DPS options are you know where you can fire from. And the Yotun, because it tracks, might have a better DPS for some of the some of the some of the. The unstoppables. So you seen there were jumped up, seen there were a couple of black alcoves and realized I was gonna get ads. And again, so it's worthwhile just so I'm looking around there. Yep. I don't know why I looked there actually, because there was no other piece of cover I could go to. So I was already at that height where the ads were nearly getting covered, so now you're gonna get your second unstoppable. So what we're gonna do is there's only one opening. We'll put that grenade that'll kill some of the acolytes and we're unstoppable you can see he was coming out after me and then decided not to so we're going to put a shot on him we want him to come after us we want him to come out here so now he's going to do a charge now we're going to use this kind of pillar if we can keep that pillar between him and us it will defuse him and we can just keep damaging him and just keep keeping this pillar between him and us. And we're completely safe. Here he comes again. And just make sure you keep it between you. Don't get dead tight to it either. A bit, 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 that little gap between you and, and the pillar. And here he comes. And just keep an eye on him. See there, he's like, where is he? With his mad hair. And just, just, just keep keeping yourself between yourself, the pillar between you and you and the ogre. And as you can see, how much damage you can do on them when your grenade is, you know, in its midst of melting them. And that's all she, all, wrote, all she wrote. So now that you've killed the unstoppable, in this area, you're going to have, as you can see, you're going to have two sets of acolytes, one left, one right, and a wizard left and right. So what we're going to do is, we're going to pick a side, and we're just going to peek out and see if we can see any ads. If we can't, which we can't there without putting myself in harm's way of the other side, we'll look at the other side, because you'll always have one set of acolytes that are visible to you. And it was the left for us on this first attempt. We'll take out some of them. Now we're getting shot from behind. So now we'll just turn round and sort them out. I really like this auto rifle. This is Archaeologic. I'm really enjoying it. I think I'll put it away in the vault after this. Or use it for the next barrier nightfall. Uh, but yeah. For someone that doesn't really like using auto rifles. I was surprised at, at how efficient it was. So again jump up throw the grenade at, at, at the wizard's feet and then get some meltage on and do the same on the next side and then that's us we're at the boss now the boss section i'll speak a little bit about the boss section because you guys know what you're doing here right the boss section is is a tricky encounter the the the, the kind of the heavy hit that the boss does will 99% of the time knock you off the map it's super annoying I think it's super annoying so I f when I was doing the strikes because I, because I do solo missions and solo strikes and I kind of strategize as I'm doing it now this isn't the final form of this strike this isn't the final form of my my run this is just the most repeatable way that i found so far to do it for, for you know for other people for me and other people but when i do the strike versions what i do is i i look for cover i look for angles of attack i watch pa ad patterns 
try and co you know, collate a heap of information so that when I come in, I've got a, a, a good way of doing it. When I was doing the strike version, I never had an unstoppable weapon either. <laughs> Me and unstoppable weapons. I never had an unstoppable weapon. So when my two teammates went down, it was the first time I'd come in to do, I think it was the 920. And I was like, oh man. And I found this piece of cover. And I thought to myself, when I hit the 950 and the 980, this is going to be the thing. So you'll see here, if you watch the time, time won't change at all. But there is, there is actually a cut there. There is. Time never changed. I have no idea. I think it was just the shading that changed. But it's the same run. Exactly the same run. Check the ammo I've got and all the weapons. I wouldn't, I wouldn't do that. So when you get up here, as you've seen, I put a charged grenade in the middle. And then I threw my super. We're not going to need my super anytime soon. Go and collect any ammo. And then go to this side. So that as as you as you're looking back from with your back towards the boss, it's the furthest left hand side opening. Put a charge grenade on. I'm going to put a mountain top on her, and then just get behind you. Now, some things that are noteworthy. While you're here, you're not. This isn't a cheese spot. This is cover. I don't really deal with cheese spots so much. Because I, I think they, they, you know, if they work for you, that's fine. But for me, I don't think I, I can really be someone that's making guides if I, if I need to use a cheese spot. But this is a cracking piece of cover. It allows you to attack. Now, you can get hit. But you can you can move into deeper cover and, and regenerate your health. So this first wave, you're going to get... Some knights and some some uh, thrall. Now, when you do come out, because there is another knight, you need to stay mobile. You see that green thing? I, I forget what it's called. I used to know what it was called. The green thing that comes up on the floor that sig normally signifies hive uh, arrival. It's like it, it's like what the that thing that they use to teleport in. It hits you, if you've done the strike and you were unlucky enough to get hit by it, it normally will throw you off the map. The only way to negate it is to keep, as you can, as you can see there, is to keep moving. So what we're trying to do here is we're trying to just get a bead on this knight. We'll just put a charge grenade over on top of him. Because, again, I know it's, I'm repeating myself, but as long as you break his shield, you get another one back. And I would highly recommend everybody going to do the menagerie till you get hive repurposing once we get into cover I'll, I'll tell you something else as well i'll just wait until we're in cover so you put that grenade you can see my reticle flashing red that tells you that it's still doing damage and now we're going to get the second wave of ads now i made a video towards the end of last season on how to get taken mods and armor well that armor now if you get the, the obviously the mods now are useless if you don't have that armor anymore. The mods are kind of useless. We'll just put a grenade on these guys. No, if normally if they come running at you, normally what happens is they run off the edge. But it's all good. And you've got a rift. Now, I know not all characters have got a rift. But we're on the warlock, so right now we have a rift. It's worthwhile looking at that video. To, for the for the taken ornaments and the the the, the not taken ornaments ta taken mods and the the raid armor because the other new strike when that becomes a nightfall those chests will give you uh taking armaments and taking repurposing and all that type of stuff very good very good uh for that for the other strike what's it called i can't remember what it's called i've only i've only done it once or twice but when that becomes the nightfall, you're going to want taken armaments, taken mods. So check out that video on how to get free taken mods, taken armaments. Now, I messed up here. Don't do what I done. I thought the boss had went shielded and ran away. The boss hadn't got shielded and ran away. So I seen the raid in front of me. 
and thought we were golden. If you come out and Hashla doing it is not in front of you, like out here, she's to the side. It's, it's a rule of thumb. It will always happen. So she's there. As you could see, she was right in front of us at one point. She can't do any damage. And if you if you stick a grenade on her, she'll go away pretty quickly. So this grenade has put her shielded. When she gets shielded, she goes back to the center. And now we've got wizards. This this next wave is to, so you've had two waves where it's been at first wave was acolytes and acolytes and two arc uh, knights. The second wave, uh, sorry, it was thrall. First wave was thrall and arc knights. Second wave uh, is uh, acolytes and arc knights. Third wave is thrall and wizards. And, and is it is it? Oh, knights, do you get... Or, oh, no, it's, it's uh, Acolytes, Acolytes, Wizards, and Thrall. Same rule applies with the Wizards here as it did in the Shattered Throne. If you pop a Wizard Shield, they will run away until they have got their shield back. But it's a, it's a mute point because if you've, if you've done something like that and you put a grenade on, you taking down a wizard shield normally means you're gonna kill them, so we'll just keep moving. Remember, keep moving. Don't don't think you can peek and stay. Once you're out in this open area, don't think that you can peek and then and then uh, get back in wherever you peeked from and you'll be fine. So charge the grenade, put a grenade on top of it, and then we hit her with a super. Now we're just gonna. Toss a grenade down there. Just hoping that a ton of things are going to walk into it. And that Hashla Dune's going to take some damage. Because what we want now is we want the unstoppable enemy. And you'll know when you've got the unstoppable. Because that at the bottom left will appear. A champion has appeared. So now we've got an unstoppable ogre. That Doing the unstoppable ogre is how I actually found this place. So what we're looking for. As we're looking for, we, we've almost got a grenade, so we're not really bothered about breaking any hive shields or whatever. That's what we want. So, bit of damage. Crouch down, go right to the back, right to the left hand side. Crouch down and just keep hitting. Now, you'll be able to do this with the Yolton. I actually was wondering because there was that thing with the Yolton that if you do damage close enough to you, if you take splashback damage, you increase the damage your Yotan does. I, I've never used it. I, 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 I don't really know if that is what, how you use it. But if it is, I'm not even sure if the, the Yotan would be better for this part than the mountaintop would be. But I can't stress enough, guys. I'm going to stress it again. If you don't have the mountaintop, put the effort into getting it. I'm not saying you've not got it because you haven't put the effort in. What I'm saying is it's easier to get it now than it was last last year. Has been easier for some time. And now with Fabled, getting to Fabled. I, I know people that could not get to Fabled for love no money last season. That hit Fabled solo this season in the first week. It's easier to get to Fabled now than it's ever been. Allegedly. I played the first five matches, got absolutely smacked, and everybody was like, oh, I don't know how that happened. It's so easy in Fable, in, in comp. Yeah. I want your KD then. <laughs> it, must, it must be my KD that I'm playing, the type of players that I'm playing. I'm joking. That's nothing to do with it. Second, sec I'm only saying that in case they watch and go, oh, was he talking about me? I'm not talking about anybody salty at the fact that comp was didn't feel like for me the way everybody else told me it felt so as you could see the ogres come over i've blasted his arm killed him there's another ogre but he's he's not unstoppable hit him with a grenade melt him now you've got acolytes and we, we had we had a couple of knights and like exactly what i said would happen the knights come and half the time if they do push over here they don't do very much damage to you and they end up falling off the edge now your fate is in your own hands. You just have to watch out for these exploders. We did have a moment. Like I say, this is not a cheese spot. We did have a moment like that where 
the Explorer pushed us and done a little bit of damage to us. Now, I would suggest, and you'll see, that's what I would suggest. Don't go out there with an auto rifle. Go out there with your heavy. And you maybe be able to kill them before they can up, get up to you that close. What I'm actually doing, because you're, because you're in cover, and you are in, in cover, you can, if, if you're on your warlock, which I would suggest doing this way with the warlock. If, if you know, if, if you haven't already done this solo, then why not, why not do it in a way that will, te you know, you can get comfortable with the area and all that type of stuff. So, if you haven't done this solo, then this is definitely the right way to do it. And just learn the area, become comfortable. It's half the thing about solo in any content is getting that, that experience. And, and trust me, people don't get experience from coming in and doing it once and going, nah, I don't. I don't think I can do that. I don't. I, I don't feel comfortable there. I, I wasn't enjoying myself. It was too difficult. That is the only experience you get there. Is failure. You experience failure. So what I would suggest is come in, get used to the area, used to the ads, how much damage they take. If you die here, it's it's simple. I mean, you if you die here at this part, you spawn at the start of the boss battle, and every time that happens get a little bit more experience and experience no 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 amount of skill no amount of skill can buy experience so just get your experience in there guys and and, and get it done i have faith in everybody that's going to try this all of my subscribers anybody that's going to try this i got faith in you you've got this that that cover will help you no end now, we'll get what we're gonna have, and this was the this was the only thing. Cause obviously, when you when you complete something normally, it it's never the same twice. If if you do it, obviously, if you don't follow a formula. So the last time I done this, that was Hashley doing that counter. So I didn't realize you were gonna get another wave of ads. <laughs> so right back to the right back to the cover I go because I don't know what wave of ads this was I didn't know what wave of ads this was and it turned out it wasn't anything too too uh too drastic and actually Hashla doing is just over to our left I just take a couple of these acolytes out so what I ended up doing was I took it took out the acolytes and then just put a charged grenade on Hashla doing there she is and there's a couple of knights there and the grenade was enough actually to move her into a better position for me did i have to put another one she came right over to me and then she moves back to the center she didn't like it back to the center so two two well-placed mountain tops and she was dead and this works trust me this 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 technique this cover uh, attacking the waves from here, charging your grenade, high repurposing, very important. Have a look at the armor at the start so you can see what mods I used and where I used them. Uh, a little tip, if you do want to reset your seasonal artifact, if you change characters, because every time you change it, it, it costs you more money. I think I'm at 50,000 if I want to change mine the next time. Change characters and it goes back to the 10,000. It's just a little thing. Well, thank you guys for watching. I appreciate uh, you sticking with it. Uh, I hope this helps. I hope this helps some of you guys give this a go. Uh, have a look out for the next video. And I will see you guys very soon.